Now, this rhinoceros viper bears a warning on its head. For those who know the species, this giant arrow screams, contains lethal venom. Look out, danger, danger. I'm going to bite, kill, and eat you. Whereas this vine snake is more subtle. It has a super bright day glow tongue that contrasts with its dull colored, magnificently camouflaged body. Come on, could you tell the snake from the tree branch if you weren't looking for it? It can play possum and lay in wait for prey. But when it itself becomes prey, that's where the tongue comes in. Suddenly, this green tree branch sticks out its bright orange tongue that says, yeah, mess with me? Yeah, sure, if you want a great big tooth full of poison. Thing is, the vine snake is not venomous, but the predators don't need to know that. Nice trick, eh? Ha, but here's the trickiest snake of all, the two-headed snake. You talk about crafty defense and offense. This is the tail of the two-headed snake. The tail looks more like the head than the head. The false head, quote, keeps guard sitting on the coils, while the real head sneaks off looking for food. Now, here's the real head. It has no distinguishing features. Those are on the tail. This means that a predator is likely to attack the tail instead of the head, thinking the tail is the head instead of the head being the tail. Just to complete the confusing illusion, the tail actually mimics the defensive strikes made by the head of a retreating snake. So ends the tail of the snake with a head-like tail and a tail-like head. <laughs>